One of my specialties is home pricing and it is one of the aspects of my job that truly changes for every home that I list, but it's based on the exact same factors. So why is it so hard for homeowners to price their homes accurately? Homeowners risk undervaluing or overvaluing their home because they do not have access to the most up-to-date market data and data of the surrounding areas. So when I meet owners who have tried unsuccessfully, unfortunately, to list their home on their own, they tend to focus on the elements of the home that they really think make a difference rather than an accurate market snapshot and it makes sense because they don't have access to this type of information. So either they are pricing their home because they feel the upgrades they have made will be more attractive to buyers or that it differentiates their homes from the neighbors or they could be undervaluing what their neighbors are selling for. And in both situations, that in the end, it's, it's wasted time on the market or wasted money or both depending on how you look at it. So how do you price a home? The three factors for pricing a home, it's pretty simple. The home's features and condition, location, and supply and demand. So home features and condition is a sticking point that is why having a realtor evaluate your home is crucial. What buyers are looking for at a given time change where some buyers are after a chef's kitchen, other buyers don't like to cook, and the same is true for multi-generational multi housing options. And these are all popular, but really do not drive up the price in a large degree because they come down to demand and preference. That extra square footage to some represents a waste of space and that gas range may be useless to people who prefer takeout. So certain other factors like structural improvements or upgrades to appliances and a new roof do translate to more dollars. Second is location. The main line is one of the best places to live, but certain school districts are more desirable. Access to grocery stores, access to transport, all make certain locations more desirable. And on the same token, it makes other homes less desirable. So if you are close to a road, or if there's construction that will be happening soon, these are all things that can make a home value go down. Third is supply and demand. And this is really where for sale by owner pricing is hard to nail. As a mainline realtor, I have access to data at my fingertips and I have lots of experience in pricing homes in this market to the minute. I know how many homes are on the market, how long they have been on the market, what the true market value of a home is. And frankly, I will not list a home that is wildly over market value because it's not going to sell and it's a waste of everyone's time. If there is too much supply, which is not the case or too little, home value will be up or down, but it will not reach a space where buyers are willing to pay 30 or 40% over an accurate estimate. This brings us to something I get asked all the time. Should I sell myself if I have better than average marketing know-how and housing market data? Even real estate investors use realtors, and here's why. Unless you have a buyer who is trusted or it's a family member and you want to avoid realtor fees, understand the risks you should be using a realtor. Your realtor, whether, you're on, whether it's on the buyer side or on the seller side, is protecting your transaction. From the pricing of your home to negotiations, a realtor's job is to protect their client's interests. And that being said, the pricing of the home is critical to the sale and the interest of the seller. So the biggest things to avoid when pricing your home actually also involve realtors as well. Some realtors will try to get a listing by overpricing a home and telling the seller that their home is worth more, but beware. This wastes a lot of time and it's mostly yours. A home that is overpriced and over market overpriced tends to be overexposed 
then it has to be sold for a few reductions later down the road. And if you do not wanna sell your home and just wanna have visitors, then this is a great option. But if you are interested in getting the best value for your home, second, get a good idea what is worth what in terms of amenities and what curb appeal can add to a home. A realtor can tell you what is going to be popular and what actually adds value. Hint, it might not be what you think. So third, also do not let a realtor sell your property short. Interview a few realtors, talk to them about their marketing plans and how they intend to price your home and what their strategies are. This is a big interview about one of the biggest transactions you will make, so do your research. Not to be grim or scary, but selling your home is really exciting and the pricing is one of the most important parts that should be very honest about. I get calls all the time on people moving homes, specifically around the main line of PA, so reach out to me if you're looking at buying in or around main line PA or you would like to know more, my number is in the description below. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll love the next one on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching.